What's going on, everybody? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out and waiting. Another random impromptu just decided to go live for the hell of it. Have a topic in mind, though. We're going to talk about some underrated niche fragrances. I've got four of them specifically that we're going to talk about here today. None of them, in fact, are my sin of the day, which I forgot to grab my sin of the day, actually. Let me go do that real quick. Give me one second, guys. Let me grab So we're back. So nobody in the chat just yet. I see we got 18 people in the first minute starting to jump on. What's going on, everybody? How are all of you? Let's see, so what's everybody wearing today? I'll start it off. Sin of the day, Emir Resurrection, Paris Corner. This is a dupe of Aqua de Parma's Colonia Oud. So far, so good. Really been enjoying this one. It has this kind of Italian citrus feel with a dark woody nuance to it. Um, not as rich and complex as I initially thought it would be. I mean, I didn't think it would be the deepest of scents, but it just smells really nice. It's much more mass appealing than I originally thought it was going to be. Omega, what's going on, Joel? How are you? Up for shave, Dave. Good to see you. Julius is wearing Dua's grapefruit cognac. 10-4, 10-4. Okay. So far, so good. Like, I, I was just literally seconds ago talking about what I think about it so far. I'll be doing a review in a few days. What's everybody else wearing? We've got 30 of you, and I've only seen two cent of the days. So what's going on? Who's wearing what before we get into the topic? Here it goes. Okay, Jose is wearing Cool Water. Dylan's wearing Bond Number 9 Highline. What's going on, Ethan? Scandal, first wear and loving it. No sin of the day today. All right, 10-4. Ethan's wearing Blue Dish and El Parfum. Can never go wrong with that. Kevin's wearing Spice Bomb Extreme. I haven't wore that one in quite some time myself. Looking forward to smelling new strong with you, Amber. Me as well. I have a feeling it's going to be along the lines of one of two fragrances. It's going to smell like Nishane's Ani, or it's going to smell like Grand Soir. It's going gonna, it's gonna to walk the path of those two fragrances. I'm confident. I'm confident it's going to. And even though it'll be redundant, I'm still going to get it because I think it's going to be great. Lunarosa Ocean, ex excellent, excellent choice. 9 a.m. dive. Once we get close to the summer, I'll start wearing that one more myself. Mir Sidrat Essence, that's a great one. A little bit more citrus and musk than uh, actual Sidrat Boise, but pretty close overall. Polo Blue, Pacroban Invictus, the original. I haven't worn that one in a long time either. I love that stuff. That's a good fragrance. Hope you're feeling better. Ah. So, so I didn't go to the gym again today. Woke up lower back hurting headache. Sinus is still acting up. <coughs> so I said, screw it. I guess I'm gonna take another day sitting around just night quill day quill myself to death. Like I've been doing the last couple of days, but it's bothering me. I don't like not going to the gym, but I gotta listen to your body. Sometimes it wants me to just stay put. So that's what I'm doing. I'm staying put. Grease Chanel X Straight. I've never tried either one. I've never heard of this fragrance. I have never heard of it. John Barbados. Oh, the original. Okay. You don't hear anybody talk about that. Popped into Marshalls and found Sean John. I am king. Smells incredible. That is some good stuff. Very fruity and fresh. Eric, how are you? Dan, what's going on, big dog? Pineapple Vintage Intense Gold. Black Caviar from Electimus. That's good stuff, too. So let's jump into the first one. So this one, I uh, it's kind of getting to where it's time for me to start wearing this one because what it smells similar to, it's the time of year when I start wearing that. So a lot of you know one of my all-time favorites, nostalgia pick for me, is Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. And some of you immediately know where I'm going with this. Um, the openings are very similar. This is, if Tommy was a niche fragrance, it would be Montal's Fougere's Marine. They did a great job with this. It's got this freshwater accord with the oak moss. Makes more of this green, airy, fresh, spicy type of feeling. Very green, but not too warm, earthy, and spicy like Oak moss can tend to be that freshwater accord, the aromatics, this clean musk. It really does remind me heavily, especially in the opening, of Tommy. 
just some good, good stuff. And anybody that's a fan of Tommy Cologne should smell this. This doesn't get any press, any love, a lot of feature from anybody. This is really, really freaking good. Performance is great, as you would expect with most Montals. As far as fresher fragrances from Pierre Montal, this is definitely one of the better ones. Still grounded with a lot of oak moss. Like I was saying, you have to like oak moss because that is the feature note here. That's where all your greenery and your spice comes from. But the fresh water note that they used here really set this thing apart. And like I said, made it niche Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. So this is the first one I wanted to discuss with you guys when it comes to underrated niche fragrances that are worth getting your nose on and maybe giving a little attention to. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus, but Montal Fougere's Marine. This excellent fragrance. Excellent, excellent fragrance. Get caught up on the chat. Under the weather. Yeah, I'm still sick. I've been sick for a couple of days. Let's see what's happening, bro. So we got a little congestion. I do. Mr. Got Plenty, what's up? Pick that one up because of you. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Uh, there's no such thing as a best ever of anything. There's no one best anything, especially with fragrance. Um, that's a kind of a funny question. Because anything I can tell you, nobody, there's going to be people that are going to disagree because it's all opinionated. Um, I would go with Missoni Wave is a fantastic one. Go with Invictus Aqua is a fantastic one. And so on. There is no one for any question. There's no such thing. That doesn't, there's no one to any any question. Keep that in mind. Sin of the day. The dark fresh. Hit those like buttons. Yeah, definitely hit the like button. Never heard of that one though. Grand Soir. Excellent choice. Uh, they are made of aluminum. They are made of aluminum. They are not glass. And everybody thinks that they're half empty when they get them because it's aluminum. They're much lighter bottles. They are full when you get them. A lot of people, I've had people message me over the years, man, I got this. It feels like it's empty. Do you have that experience? No. Bottle's made of aluminum. It's not made of glass. So, so they're much lighter since they're not made of glass. So. Adidas moves. Had to bring it back one good time. There you go. Edition Blanche. That's a good one. I spelled that one not that long ago at Duty Free, like two weeks ago. Serge Lutin Shergi. That's good stuff. PDM Oajan Killing Angel Share, but with Cherry, Arabian Oud, Rasala, Diwan, Sultani, Majestic Woody, Intense. Okay. How do you feel about the quality of Bomb Parfumer fragrances? Had a bunch. Yeah, they they fallen very cheap range steve gets them for a really good price two kingdom fragrances you can get them 30 40 dollar range um i got a few of them they're really good i have 801 301 uh and then there's one i'm leaving out i forgot what number it is that i have 601 i want to say i have as well 301's a, a dry amber sandalwood fragrance a little spice it's really good 801 very citrus grapefruit heavy and i want to say it's 601 is my green freshie from them. I haven't worn any of them in a little while, but they are really good. Um, very they fit the topic, underrated niche house for sure. Bon Parfumer makes some really, really good stuff. Simplistic uniform design with their presentations, but they stack well if you're not going to use the box, even if you do use the boxes, they're going to stack well on a shelf like a bookcase kind of thing. But if you take the bottles out, they're very uniform. Um and they're really good. There's a ton of them, too. There's a ton of fragrances from them. And they're not real deep and complex note breakdowns, but they smell of quality. That's what I'll say about Bon Parfumers. Good stuff. We're hoping to try Black Anabis next time I have the funds. You can get samples pretty cheap. It's a couple of dollars. You know. Paris Corner Vibrant Vetiver Delight. That bottle looks really cool. I've seen the bottle. I haven't tried the fragrance, though. Honey Oud always overwhelms me. What situations can you wear it? And I'm afraid might not be for me. Uh, I mean, that's you can wear it in any situation. You can wear it summertime by the pool if you want to. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't recommend that, but you can. It's situationally, it's it's cooler weather stuff. I, I wear it as just casual thing. Um, if that overwhelms you, then you probably don't like strong fragrances. Because that's definitely a strong fragrance. Don't spray in front of yourself either. If you find fragrances overwhelming you, don't spray in front of you. Spray the sides of your neck, behind your neck. Don't spray anywhere in the front of you so it's not just living under your nose. Tell Justin 
I'm sorry I bought a bottle of Second Soul and I thought it smelled okay, but decided to give it a wearing. I had three thick thigh Latinas tell me how good I smell. In the night, let's just say I got plenty. He was right. I was wrong. Well, I mean, you can always tell him that yourself, you know. I'm sure he'll have a good laugh reading that in his next live chat. You know, I don't know when he's going live again, but I would assume in the next few days he'll probably do a live stream. He's been doing them at least once a week here lately, but that's kind of funny. <clears throat> Arabian Oud, Arabian Night Silver. Kind of a fresher Layton, but not a full clone. Good stuff. Noted. Never tried that. Cheap scent of the day. YZY Black Point. Never heard of that one. Grant, how are you? Spice Bomb Extreme. Let's see. Second Solas. Good stuff. <clears throat> 801 and 302. Yeah, 302, I believe, has Iris, I want to say. Because 301's like cardamom, sandalwood, and amber. I want to say 302 subs one of those notes out for Iris. I want to say the amber. Could be wrong, though. Full green man in black waiting on first snowfall here in New York City later this evening, 10-4. Paris Corner Vibrant Vetiver Delight is Byredo's Ball to Freak Clone Twist. Well, I know it's the Byredo Bottles. It's their take on the Byredo Bottles. I had no idea that's what it was cloning, though. Protolome, that's some good stuff. Oud Lemon Mint, is it gym appropriate? Absolutely not, in my opinion. Absolutely. There's no such thing as a gym appropriate Montal or Mancera fragrance. Not if you're asking me, because those are all too strong for the gym. I had some ladies just choking me out at the gym the other day for leg day. It was Sweet Florals Day. It was outrageous. I had, when I was doing standing calf raises, this one lady on the machine next to me, I was like literally like gasping, trying to get just regular oxygen. She must have bathed in whatever shit she was wearing. It was ridiculous. Please don't be that person at the gym. Please don't. The gym, that's, that's not the place for that. But to answer your question, no. I mean, if you want to do that, just don't go to my gym. <laughs> just don't go to the gym with me. And you can wear whatever the hell you want, cause yeah, I don't like the I don't like the super strong stuff at the gym. And oud lemon mint, that's a strong fragrance. That's a creamy lemon and woody fragrance. Um, definitely not gym appropriate, as far as I'm concerned. When it comes to gym fragrances, I like the weak, fresh and clean stuff. Um, not everybody's going to agree with me. Maybe I'll fall under some criticism for it because of this rant and tangent. Don't care. It's how I really feel. I would not go that route. Personally, that's more of a daily wear fragrance that you don't need a lot of sprays because it's so strong. It's like a three to four spray fragrance for me. It's a very, very strong fragrance. And with that said, let's get into the next one, <clears throat> which speaking of Mancera's, this name and bottle color may make you think it's gym appropriate. But again, Mancera's are not gym appropriate. This is Aqua Wood. Of course, it's there we go. I was about to say, of course, not going to focus. I've been talking about this one a lot lately because I've really been digging this one and it doesn't get any love. And it's so simplistic in the way it's composed, but it smells so deep at the same time. Fruits and citrus, incense, amber, and woods. Such a simplistic scent profile. That's just awesome. Great daily wear fragrance right here, for sure. Um, and like I said, the incense really gives it that deep character, deep, rich character to the scent profile. Because if you take the incense out, it would kind of be run of the mill with fruits and citrus, amber and, and woods, that's in a lot of fragrances, whereas that incense just gives it a little twist, you know. Performance is well above average without being a monster, though, again, back to the gym thing, I wouldn't want to wear this to the gym, even with just two sprays. Um, but daily wear, especially springtime, this is some good stuff. It has that mass appeal, like I said, with that richness and depth that incense can provide in cer certain compositions. This one's definitely good for that. I, I don't know how many people have tried this before, but you should really get your nose on this if you haven't. I, I was excited to get this one. I had been wanting it since it came out a few years ago. Now that I have it, it's even better than I thought. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mancera Aqua Wood. Again, I have links for everything down below if you guys are interested in checking any of these out. Uh, let's see. Let me start planning my weekly fragrance wares. What I'm doing now is BS, missing and forgetting to wear some great fragrances. It helps to kind of try to structure your week. Uh, it's still not always the easiest thing to do because you don't want to just put six, you know, seven or eight fragrances there for the week. You want to put a nice selection so you can just kind of 
like you want to pigeon you hole yourself into all right i'm going to pick from this batch but you don't want it to be so few of fragrances that you end up staring at your shelving like what am i going to wear today because you'll still end up doing that if you don't give yourself a large enough selection for the week that's why i have this little tv tray i call my rotation table i put up but there's always roughly 30 to 40 fragrances on there at all times and that's kind of what i select from <clears throat> So here's the thing, for just a few dollars more, you can get a Zara Wanted. And we'll move on. <clears throat> F Black. Still a great fragrance. I don't care what anybody says. Suntal Wood, I've never tried. Encre Noir, I like Strim. That's definitely really good stuff. <clears throat> I will admit, we got 81 viewers, 44 likes. Do me a quick favor, hit that thumbs up, guys, if you don't mind. Fresh Prince of the Trenches. I like that name. That's 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 a dope name, man. It's very creative. I like that. I'll be rocking Cartier Declaration doing on soir tomorrow. Brother, if you haven't tried this one, you've got to try this one. Also, newer Declaration, Hot Fraîcheur, Minty and Clean. I've heard good things about the second one. I've never tried the first one. Is that the rose-based one, doing soir? I believe that's the one that's featured around rose. Correct me if I'm wrong. Bright Peach by Alhambra, the Tom Ford clone. I wear designers to the gym. Yeah, same thing. Awesome old cheapy that slaps. You should try to grab Hugo Boss Selection. It's super fresh, watery, sweet grass. Noted. You wimpy spray, you get no play. Shut up, Kyler. <laughs> Good to see you. <clears throat> uh, no, Lemon Line's one that's kind of eluded me for a few years. I, I think I'd really enjoy that one. Um, obviously based around lemon. It doesn't seem to have the typical oud or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of like a, an actual freshie for men, Sarah, which there's so few of them that don't feature heavy woods. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Eventually, I mean, there's just so much out there to get and to try that eventually I'm going to get it. I'm just going to buy it because I, I know I'm going to end up liking it. Evening Mystique for the gym, that's a terrible idea. I would not wear Evening Mystique to the gym. Absolutely not. You won't get felt if you aren't smelt. If you're hoping for a fragrance to get you laid, you're pathetic. That's that's just what I'll say. I know that's not what you that's not your actual intention. You're trying to be funny, Kyler, but if you're hoping for a fragrance to get you laid, guys, you need to reevaluate your situation. Wear black Afghano to the gym. No, you don't. Don't lie to me. This is him versus Club Black. That's a great question because they are very similar. They are. Whereas Club Black's got a little bit more freshness because of the Ambroxan. I would have to go with Mercedes-Benz Club Black. It does smell a little bit better to me. This is him. Still a great fragrance. They are redundant to have together. I do have both. <clears throat> but I do prefer Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Like I said, that freshness that's in there mixed with the that ambery, vanilla, smoky tone which all of that is going on in This Is Him. The difference is the Ambroxan. And it doesn't have that hefty Ambroxan smell. Like when people hear Ambroxan, they think Sauvage. No, it's nothing along those lines. You're not even going to be in the gym long enough for it to transition. With more complex fragrances, absolutely. I agree with that completely. I mean, I'm in the gym for a while, but I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be sitting there living in Siage while I'm working out. Like I said the other day, I had these ladies choke me. There's three specific ladies that walked by me or was working out next to me. Well, they were choking me out. I'm not in the gym trying to smell fragrances. I'm just not. It's It becomes offensive sometimes in the gym. You know, I actually did a little short on my thing. I tagged Michelle because I know she sprays heavy as shit to go to the gym. I would never want to work out with Michelle. <laughs> Love to hang out with her. She's cool as shit. Love when I get to talk to her. We've messaged many times over the years, but I would never want to work out with her because of how she sprays fragrances because that's I'm not in the gym for that. Absolutely not. To each their own. I tagged her and I said, because they either, either these fragrances were beasts off these ladies' skins or what I said was they just watch Michelle and they spray some beastly stuff like 30 times all over themselves and go to the gym because it was, it was a lot. These ladies were choking me out at the gym the other day. It was intense. I was surprised. Because I smell strong, sweet stuff all the time at the gym. But this was, this actually affected me. This is the first time it was like, God, please get away from me. That's the first time I've ever had that situation in the gym. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's cheap stuff. It's it's not expensive. It just continues to get cheaper and cheaper. That that just gets forgotten at this point because there's so many good flankers. Turn that off. Best smelling postal worker back at it again, Grease Charnel, on this rainy day. Well, I appreciate you coming to hang out. YSLY EDT, one of my personal favorites, especially come summertime. Montal Sweet Oriental Dream. Appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you being here. The gym with a strong scent is a disaster. When you raise your body temperature, you're just a moving headache maker. Yeah, I had a massive headache, too. That's the one thing I left out. Because that's the thing. You're going to start sweating. Your body's going to heat up. That shit's going to project even harder. It is. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm so firmly against strong fragrances at the gym, especially sweet fragrances, because they get really strong as it is. And that's where it gets cloying. And that's where the headaches come in. Oh, man. Because it's just like I said, I'm not I'm not in there for that. Look, I can, I'm, I'm nobody's boss. Do whatever the hell you want. Wear whatever the hell you want. These are just my opinions and my thoughts. Like I said, some will agree. Some will disagree. Whatever it is, what it is. It's just just me. No. No, it does not. It smells closer to the original Invictus. I think it doesn't smell anywhere even close to Invictus Aqua 2018. Far from it. Uh, closer to 2016, if anything. But really, it smells most like uh, the original Invictus. It cracks me up every time I see in a thumbnail somebody comparing it to Invictus Aqua 2016. Um it's much closer to the original Invictus from 2013 because <clears throat> it's got that sweet aquatic going on plus spice. It's got a uh, cinnamon and cardamom in it. Hawass is good though. Really, really good stuff. Jubilation 25. Green Irish Tweed. Excellent choice. What I've sampled, Amarud has a whole white Hinoki. Yes. Yes, yes, and more yes. Super unique. Monster. Great fragrance, a little boozy, citrusy, woody type of smell. Oh, it's so good. I have a bottle of it. I, it's been a few months since the last time I wore it. I wore it in 2022. I haven't wore it yet this year, but that is some good stuff. Tell him where some brute he'll get laid. There you go. What are y'all doing? Uh, Decant House, fatboyfragrances.com, um, Decant X. There's, there's a lot of places. A lot of places for sure. Smell of money will get you laid. There you go. That's the right smell. I take Benjamin's on my shirts when I go out. 60% of the time, it works every time. There you go. <clears throat> they need to subscribe to your channel, bro. I mean, anybody's welcome to. Excuse the sinuses. <clears throat> the ladies wanted some action. That's not the way to get it in the gym. I'll tell you that. It was, it was rough. It was rough for sure. Get that engagement up. Hit that like button. 62 likes, 92 viewers. If you don't mind, do me a quick favor. Take a split second. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind, guys. No scent of the day. Just one spray of almost signature. That is a scent of the day, though. You have one spray of almost signature on. Yeah, brother. Dune Soir does have rose in the heart of the frag. But personally, I hate rose scents. But this one is not rose dominant. Basically, it's a woody floral musky scent. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Yeah, I've, ne I've never tried it. Um, I know... Justin's a big fan of the Declaration line in general. Um, I don't know anybody that likes Cartier fragrances more than Justin, to be honest with you. He's got a few different fragrances from a few different lines from them. <clears throat> the bottle arrived today. Amber Oud. Ooh. Roger Parfum's Amber Oud. It's a heavy hitter right there, buddy. Oh, man. It's my favorite Oud Rose ever. Jerome Cologne, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, Versace Man of Fresh. I want something like that in, in that vein. Look, I agree, Kevin. That's the kind of stuff I like to wear, too, especially stuff that smells along the lines of Mano Fresh. That's kind of like my favorite scent profile for the gym. I like Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Blue. Any of the Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct fragrances, minus the extreme because it's strong. <coughs> it's clean, soapy fragrances, Nautica fragrances, stuff like that. Stuff that by the time I leave the gym, it's gone. It's not even on me anymore. You know, it's a, more of a psychological thing just to have something fresh and clean on. It's not, I'm not trying to get attention from other people while I'm at the gym. I'm in the gym for a purpose. There is a reason. And it's, I got headphones on. I'm not looking to hang out. I'm looking to get in, get this work and get on with my day. 
You know what I mean? I don't treat the gym as a social event. I did back when I was in high school, when I used to train with my group of friends, when it was four of us at the gym together every day, I train alone. You know what I mean? I have a few people that I know at the gym that will converse for a minute, but we get after it. You know what I mean? We say, hi, what's up? How you doing? And then we keep moving. You know, it's, it's purposeful when you're at the gym, not in there for a social event. Look, do I take my share of pictures and film a couple of sets and stuff like that? Sure. But I'm in my own little world, clearly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing that. If I gave a shit about people around me, I wouldn't have my phone set up somewhere or my, my GoPro hooked up somewhere filming that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm in my own little world when I'm at the gym. It's my home, my escape. It's my home away from home. It's my therapy session. I love being, it's killing me. It's two days in a row I'm not at the gym. It happens where I take two days off, but it's rare. I hate taking two days off. I don't know what to do with myself. Pipe Bomb Extreme from Blackbird. Never even heard of that. I've never even heard of that. Blue Electric. <coughs> I have a 60 ml bottle too. I haven't worn it in a while. I believe it. I believe because the la one of the last times I talked to her, it was it was people were giving me a hard time when I did a spray routine video for five sprays, and then I went to the gym. It was Abercrombie and Fish first instinct blue, and I did a follow up shorts and mentioned her, and I sent it to her, and we ended up talking about it. She's like, "Yeah, I tell people I you know." I actually undershoot what I really spray. Like I'll tell them 20, but I'm really doing over 30. She sprays like crazy. <laughs> it's, it's wild. She sprays like crazy. Stop skipping my question, buddy. What's your question? Cause I, I jump around cause I have so many, uh, a one finesse. Stop skipping my question. Baldy. Okay. Let me scroll up. Cause now you done said some bitch made stuff. So let's go see what you, uh, what you said, what did I skip? Because now I'm about to be a fucking prick to you since you, you decided to do that. Scrolling up, scrolling up, not seeing anything. Still not seeing anything. Well, you're going to call names. You can go fuck yourself. How about that? Yeah, I don't see your shit anywhere. But since you're going to call people names and stuff, you can definitely go fuck yourself. You're out. Blocked. Go get fucked. <clears throat> this is for my subscribers and for everybody to have a good old time. You want to call names and talk shit? There's a shithole cesspool on Reddit where you can go get fucked with those assholes. Okay? And I'm sure for those that are, because 108 people, some of them are watching. Fuck y'all. <clears throat> Anyways, back to happier things. Let's see. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't know who the hell that is and what kind of shit he was trying to talk. But yeah, I I appreciate you guys. Y'all don't have to come to my, my rescue for that, man. I, I, I have zero tolerance for that bullshit. We, we, we're supposed to be just hanging out, having a good old time, talking some fragrances. You know what I mean? So why you poke the bear, bro? Yeah, for real. Let's see. Figment man. So I've heard bad things about it. I've never tried that one. I've heard it kind of smells like dirt. Uh, that was Hunter from Channel Fragrance Hunter that told me it smelled like dirt. I think he has a bottle of it. He said it's very challenging for him. Have you tried it? And what do you think about it? Is that kind of your thoughts too? Because I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about that one. I haven't really gathered a lot of opinions on it, but I've never tried it myself. I got plenty, but buying my next bottle will hurt. Okay. I missed something there. Yo, what's going on? I just hear Ross upset. Ah, oh, nothing. Just scroll back 30 seconds and you can see why. <clears throat> I'm not upset. I just, I have zero tolerance for bullshit. You know, when it comes to the internet, I'm, I'm, I'm over all the bullshit. I'm done with that. No more, no more Mr. Nice Guy when it comes to the internet. People on the internet want to talk shit. They get it too. What happened? I just came in. Nothing. Nothing serious. We're moving on. Nothing that matters. No, I haven't got anything from Central Obsessions in a while. Uh, hope hope Kevin's doing well. Let's see. Jumbalone Cypress and Grapevine bought a backup bottle. Have you tried Voyage Fragrance Line from Hermes? No, that's a good question. I haven't. I haven't. There's a lot of good stuff outside of Terry Hermes from what I hear. Um those odd shaped bottles with that 
I'm trying to, I'm visualizing it, but I'm trying to think of how to describe the cap. It's kind of a, almost looks like Saturn because it's got a ring around the circle. You know what I mean? Yeah, now you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Dorange, I believe, and that line, Dorange Vert or something like that. It is so good. Super minty, fresh, and mature. Kind of reminds me of Aqua de Gio Profumo. Noted. Gris Chanel is the best fig fragrance on the market. I own both of them. Both niche. I own them all, both niche and designer. Talking about all the fig fragrances. Okay, I got you. <sighs> right? Isn't that so good? I'm so impressed by that fragrance. I still haven't dove into more from the house. Um, I need to, though. Just like with Vertus. But the one I started with with Vanilla Oud over there. So impressed by it, just like with Halcyon. Um, I'm looking at the box for, for Halcyon. That is such a good fragrance. You know, sometimes cinnamon can be overdone, but that one is done right. That's such a good cinnamon note. Whiskey and cedarwood. I mean, I'm, I'd be down for it. You know, it's been a couple of weeks since the last time I talked to her. We don't talk all the time, but I was at least once a month or something. We'll message back and forth on Instagram. You know, I know she's getting settled in now. The last time I talked to her was the day she was buying the Mustang. She was car shopping the last time I talked to her. <clears throat> Boys is a good fragrance. Uh, DE. I use a double-edged safety blade. I use a, Most of the time I use a vintage adjustable Gillette. You tried Realm. Cheapy Jim. No, sir, I have not. Have you explored the house of Savoir Fair? I've heard good things. After I buy these city rhythm fragrances, they are up next up for me. I haven't. I've heard good things about Woody Oud from Alhambra, too. I know their uh, their Tom Ford private line clones are pretty good from what I hear. Noble Fig, I have a bottle of. I was underwhelmed. I was surprised. I thought I was going to like it. Of the four, Pure Lavender, Radiant Bergamot, Bright and Rolly, and Noble Fig, it's my least favorite. It's not terrible. It's just not as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, she's been in Dubai for a little while now. Yeah, she'll be able to do stuff with Demi all the time now. Boom. Let's see. Yeah, I'm on my Dubai list. Okay, here we go. Fig Man does smell like fruit and dirt. When it dries down, it's good. Okay, noted. See, I haven't tried it. Halcyon is good stuff. Is it the ambergreen Aventus that makes it so three-dimensional? It depends because I've heard that they've changed the ambergris that they've used as of late, but I haven't tried any newer batches of anything from Creed, so I really don't know. Um, but traditionally, they were known for the quality of their ambergris, historically from Creed. Uh, top, like some of the best ambergris oil. I don't know if it was all, when it stopped being authentic, but I'm sure it's been a synthetic, but it was always a, a like higher quality synthetic that they were using, a very specific one. And I've heard that it's changed, but that could just be hearsay. This isn't something I heard from the brand. So, so I'm not sure. Good question, though. All right, let's jump into the next one. So Como Lake Noturno. You guys have heard me talk about this one here and there recently. So cinnamon, some freshness, a little bit of vanillic sweetness, but this funky oud. That's the main thing. A lot of cinnamon and this funky oud smell. Kind of separates this one, whereas I wouldn't call it mass appealing, but I also would not call it a challenging fragrance either. I think it falls somewhere in between where this is kind of an easy wear enthusiast level fragrance. Like there's some intrigue and appeal to the enthusiast that has a larger collection or has a lot of niche fragrances, but it's also kind of easy to wear at the same time. It's an easy wear oud that doesn't smell like the synthetic ouds, if that makes any sense. This is another one where it's my introduction to the house, and I would like to explore more from the house because this particular fragrance is so good. I've been wearing it here and there over the last few months. I need to get around to doing a full review. Uh, got this one from Kingdom Fragrances. Steve had sent this my way a while back, uh, end of fall, beginning of winter, right around November maybe. Might have been November. And it's really, really good stuff. I've worn it about a handful of times so far. No, no more than four sprays. Siage on it's really good. It's not too heavy of projection, but the siage is pretty strong. And of course, it's long lasting, like you would expect with you know niche houses like this. Really good stuff. Maybe worth taking a look at. You can get samples and save fifteen percent in the link below from Kingdom Fragrances. I haven't tried anything else out the house. Like I was saying, he's got several from this house, but Noturno, I'm telling you, 
more of an enthusiast level oud that's extremely wearable. Como Lake Noturno. All right, let's see. Anyways, lastly, I think two fragrances that are criminally underrated are both by Jean Paul Gaultier, and those are Le Beau Le Parfum. I don't know if I would call them underrated, though. I should sure praise the shit out of it, you know? And Scandal Pour Homme EDT, those two are panty droppers for sure. I always crack up when I see the panty dropper thing. Um, sorry about the sinuses. <clears throat> but La Bola Parfum, I sing its praises all the time. That's an awesome. That was one of my favorite releases last year. It's so good. Um, now, I'm not sure if anybody else praises it or not, but I sure do. And as far as Scandal Pour Homme, eh, it's hit or miss for me. I like it, don't love it. That's why I don't have a bottle of it. Tried the Le Parfum recently. It is a little bit better, uh, but still doesn't blow me away to the point to where I want a bottle. But I'm glad you enjoy them, you know, to each their own. When it comes to homage fragrances, I got plenty. And Intimidation Man and Figma Man are both rough. Noted. Normally it's a four in my experience. Definitely encourage you to try it. It's mature, but I'm a younger guy and would absolutely wear the hell out of it. Noted. I have a bottle of it. I don't, I don't know if I did a full review or not. I want to say I did a full review like a year and a half ago. I believe I have a full review. I got to check now. It's going to drive me nuts. TLTG Montal. There's Fougere's Marine. Well, in spices. No, I don't have an individual review on it, but it's been featured in a bunch of videos for sure. Uh, yeah, very, very good creamy woody fragrance, a little bit of spices. Very, very uniquely mass appealing, if that makes any sense, because it doesn't smell like everything else. I mean, there's a few cheaper fragrances like Sculpture Pour Home and stuff like that. that smell, they smell similar to one another, but it's, it's really, really freaking good, and it's really strong. It's powerful as shit. You don't need a lot of sprays. Four sprays is plenty with that one. Um, it's worth checking out. It's worth at least sampling. Um, wood and Spices is a good name because it does have both of those things going on, but it's more on the creamy side than you would think. Creamy and powdery. Yeah. You're not going to expect that going into it until you try it. No, I haven't tried anything from Imaginary Authors. Uh I haven't tried any anything from the new Bad Boy release. I, I don't know anything about it, so I, I can't weigh in, unfortunately. Nothing wrong with a little dirt. Ross, most charismatic. Michelle, most beautiful. Good combo. I appreciate that, Joel. Hez, how are you? Damn, Ross. Doing wonders for some frags. Uh -huh. With Neroli, after his review, and it's realistic and really good quality. Wooden Rolly is actually really, really good. As we move into this spring weather, uh, currently in the transitional phase, at least where I'm at, it is fantastic. Very green and woody, white floral, soapy, just an ideal scent profile with the performance that kind of matches it, where it's not real strong, but it's not super weak either. Kind of falls in between somewhere in that average range. Um, for the, for the springtime, it's a great spring pick from a designer that's not really expensive, that doesn't get a lot of love. EJ Wells, Happy Land, what are they up to? What's next for them? I know you know. I don't know. I haven't talked to EJ in a little while. I don't know. If he's got something cooking, he'll let me know. I, I do know that. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't. He had so many releases last year that it's kind of good that he lays low for a little bit because he released like six, seven fragrances last year. It was a lot. <clears throat> so it's a good move to kind of chill out. I would have spaced him out a little more than he did, but hey, that was his best year of releases ever, though. It really stepped it up. Thank you for answering my question so thoughtfully, man. 10-4. Are you drooling another fragrance soon? If you do, are you going to do a subscriber fragrance with it as well? I don't really understand what you're asking here. Am I drooling another fragrance? I don't know what that means. And I've never done a subscriber fragrance. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what any of that means, man. I got to be straight up with you. Uh, I'm going to need you to retype that and make it make sense for me because that uh, doesn't really make all that much sense to me. 
I really don't know what you're asking me here. <clears throat> it's not as loud, but it's as long lasting. It sits a little bit close to the skin. It's not as bright, but it's it's the best smelling one. And it lasts long. It's the best smelling one, though. Oud for glory. I rarely wear this, but I just wanted something different, a little bit challenging. Yeah, I'm, I'm very congested. Uh, this two days home. Um, three days ago, I went and did, I did chest. I was sick. I was really starting to feel it. And then yesterday was worse than today, but I'm still feeling it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to just stay home. It's killing me to stay home, but I know it's for the best. I need to rest up. I slept. Shit, I didn't wake up till 10 o'clock this morning. And I went to bed at like 11, which is way earlier than I normally go to bed. So I got 11 hours of sleep and it was hard to get out of bed. I was, my back was hurting, neck and my head, I had a headache. It was super congested. Yeah. So Dayquil works wonders, you know. Like the bottle looks nice. Ah, that bottle. Oh, I'm behind. Y'all must be talking about Como Lake. <coughs> Here we go. Womo Signature, 10 times out of 10, it is better. They do have some similarities, but Womo Signature from Ferragamo is a better fragrance. Own Halloween Man X has done it to own both. Yes, yes, but Womo Signature is the superior fragrance. If you can sell off Halloween Man X or get gift it to somebody, do that and get Womo Signature. I mean, it's not a necessity for you to get it, but if you want the better one, Womo Signature. First time I smelled it, almost threw it away, but now in one spray just because of how interesting it is. Cinnamon and Oud, unique scent profile. It is. It's very good. It's very, very good. I haven't tried Wood of the Gods. Masculine leaning floral, 10-4. Yes. Uh, do you know if the aroma chemicals bother them, if you have any experience with that? Um, certain times, Farrah will want to sniff on me if she likes how something smells. It doesn't happen all the time, but uh, I close my door so she can't come bother me you guys won't hear the door open like if we weren't live right now i keep a crack in the door so she can just come open the door when she wants to come in anybody that was wondering like if you ever see any of my on feet stuff with my shoes and all that like uh see the blankets right here that's her little office bed that's that's where Farrah lays it's mainly at night that she stays in here with me and i got my little space heater down here so it blows by her so that's that's she likes to stay in here at night she's a uh, She's 12, she's blind, and she's diabetic. She's a Lassapu. She looks just like a Shih Tzu. But yeah, yeah, I have a, I have a dog. That's, that's my old baby. That's why I call her. She's my old baby. 499 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Low 7 Cobalt Trust. It's so good. And the only reviewers are in Spanish, and they all rave about it. I have yet to find a bad review about it. Let's check it out real quick. Let's see. Parfumo. Let me see some notes. Make sure I spell it right. Okay. E-W-E. -E. Seven Cobalt. Released in 2021. Sage, frankincense, absolute. Okay, you have me right there. Pink pepper, vetiver, clove, black currant, and tonka bean. I've seen this bottle on Instagram recently, too. Okay. Supposedly similar. The only thing it's saying similar to is Blue de Chanel EDP. If it's similar to Blue de Chanel, I'm not going to want it because I got so much that smells like Blue de Chanel. <coughs> no breakdown. I see seeing frankincense absolute excites me though. I love frankincense. Hope you feel better. I appreciate that. I hope I'm hoping by tomorrow I'm feeling much better because I'm I'm ready to go do my back workout. I was supposed to do back yesterday. Stayed home. I'm supposed to do back today. Stayed home. Shit. Ready to do back. Send of the day, Oud Lemon Mint. Also own intense Cidrapoise and red tobacco. I keep coming back to Mancera's no matter what else I try. I can't beat the performance off my skin and love the content, bro. I appreciate you and that they're one of the best houses for the money. You can't go wrong. Both, both houses, because Pierre Montal is the owner and perfumer of both Montal and Mancera. You can't go wrong. You just can't. There's so much variety. There's so much to offer. They all perform pretty well. Some are ridiculously per strong performers. And they've got a variety of ouds, woods, freshies, tobaccos, incenses, florals. 
They got a lot of everything. You could just have a collection of Montal and Mancera and be good. Have a ton of variety. Speaking of Hermes, the Terry Hermes Ogivre EDP is absolutely off the chain. Great for spring. I agree. I need that's the only one I like and want a bottle of. I tried it with Justin on a blind smell rate with him and Andrea. And uh the vetiver in that one doesn't do to me what the rest of the line does because I've tried all of the ones in the line. None of them smell good on my skin, the vetiver they use, except for Ogivre. It's fantastic. Blue Electric in stock at Fragrance Buy as we speak. There you go, guys. Attack if you were interested in getting it. Much higher quality fragrance. I agree. It has more maturity to it. I used to own HMX but didn't have good experience with it. I, I picked one more signature over Halloween Man X 10 times out of 10. Clone Hall coming in. Hercules, Ken Alfresan, that's great. Tobacco Touch, Detour Noir. I have Detour Noir Decant right here. Yep. And then Derej. Okay. Scandal is just sweet caramel scent, but yet Yeah, yeah it, it's not special enough to where I felt like I needed it. Silver Blue, I've been wanting to get that one too. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into this last one. And when the supply is done here in the States, it will be a European exclusive when Zaharoff opens completely in Europe. Signature Citrine. Super underrated. The most underrated from the house. Because everybody wants 10 hours of longevity and room-filling performance. And they say, oh, it's gone after an hour. 30 minutes, I can't smell it. 20 minutes, oh, that's so overpriced. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's no niche fragrance that lasts 30 minutes on your skin. There's no niche fragrance that lasts an hour on your skin. This is an experience. This is the best smelling Zaharoff fragrance. I said it. This is the best smelling Zaharoff fragrance. It's a true freshie with depth. True freshie meaning it's not going to last a really long time. Now, admittedly, I get six or seven hours of life on my skin. That's not too shabby. That's nothing to complain about and shake a stick at. Even if you were to only get three or four hours of this. It's a real freshie. It's light and airy. It's the experience is to enjoy the opening of the fragrance. And then you refresh a few hours later whenever needed. That's what fresh fragrances are all about. I mean, if if having a fresh fragrance that went three or four hours was detrimental to a you know a fragrance brand, Aqua de Parma wouldn't exist. They would have to make all their oud fragrances and stuff because their colonias. A lot of those last three or four hours. They're eau de colognes. They're natural citrus. And they're such a magnificent experience. This is Zaharoff's take on getting that natural Italian citrus experience. This is clementine and sweet orange. I get a lot of the incense on my skin as well. This is mag freaking magnificent. I love this stuff. I have three bottles, luckily. And then pretty good dent in this bottle. You know? So if you ever wanted to get this, if you were ever interested and the stock's gone, the stock's gone, and it's no longer going to be available in the States. Or, if you are a fan of this one, and you get it, and you want to get a backup, sooner than later. I'm not saying it's going to be sold out in a week. Just sooner than later. Keep that in mind. A little warm amber, but still the brightness and freshness. The Clementine offers a bit of a lime smell to it. Just... So good. This had to go in here when I was debating because I only wanted to do four. And when I was looking at the fourth, I was like, you know what? This is criminally underrated. I want to address some of the things about this one, the criticism this one gets. So I wanted to make it a point to feature this one because it's criminally underrated. This is the best smelling Zahara fragrance. Not everybody's going to agree with me. That's fine. That's my opinion. It's the weakest performing one, sure. But you have to look at the scent profile and the composition. Of course, it's going to be the weakest performing. It's a real freshy, not a fresh fragrance, an actual freshy. Get that super bright, just airy opening and top note. That's what this is. Super underrated Zaharoff Signature Citrine. I'm sure I'll get all kinds of flack for that from the trolls and shit, but I don't give a damn. All right. Feel better, Ross. Body's telling you to take a break a bit. Yeah, unfortunately. If most people buy fragrances based on the opening, it would not be advantageous for companies to create more linear than complex fragrances that change. Well, that's when it comes to designer. When it comes to niche fragrances, no. People are looking for complexity and depth and nuance. 
So with designers, that's what they do. They focus on the opening, you know, <clears throat> they're not marketing to us in the community. They're marketing to the masses, the masses buy off of openings. Like touch. Are you dropping another fragrance soon? Oh no, not anytime soon. Uh, Evening Mystique is going to be the end of the road for a long, long time, if ever. Said Creators 2 is, is the end. There is no third in the works. Um, if you were interested in Evening Mystique, I would suggest getting it while there's still stock. Because just like with Business Over Pleasure, once it's gone, it's gone. They're not coming back. Um, second Soul of the Immortals, any of them. If any of them interest you. Sooner than later. Just like with Citrine. Sooner than later. Because eventually the stock will run out. And that'll be a wrap. But yeah, no no plans to do any fragrances anytime soon. Love animals, they're the best. I agree. I agree. You know what's better than a dog? Nothing. And I really feel that way. There's nothing better than a dog. And I like cats too. Nothing against cats. I would put them second. You haven't heard me talk about it? I do put out a lot of content. You probably haven't seen it, but I, I talked about it a lot, quite a bit, including the dedicated video. <laughs> There's a dedicated video to it. <clears throat> Cobalt's only 75 ish bucks on fragrance that that's not too shabby. Not only intense, I'm itching to get some privacy and ooh, feel better raw. So you can enjoy the Chinese buffet. Yes. We pushed it off instead of today. It's going to be tomorrow. It's funny that you bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna wait till tomorrow to where I'm feeling better. I don't want to go getting other people sick. So we'll see if tomorrow's the day. I mean, I'm still sticking to my diet. Like today I had two whole eggs and five egg whites scrambled, so seven total. And uh two of my Kodiak power waffles with my sugar-free maple syrup. And then I had instead of pre-workout, I still gotta get my caffeine and I'm not a coffee drinker. So I would get one of these up the street. Cause I'm not a coffee drinker, but I gotta have my caffeine. And on days I'm not working out, which is rare, I got to have some caffeine. So no pre-workout today. So I ate that before I went on this live stream. Let's see. 104 with 91 likes. I can't complain about that. I appreciate that, guys. Jared Miller with $5 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Slap that like, people. Hope everyone here placed their bets for Fragrance Fight Night. Hashtag verse since. Have you tried Savoir Fairhouse, Ross? No, I have not. It's funny that you bring up the verse since. That is how I started my day. I was on the phone with Ogun for... We were on the phone for a while. Let me see how long, just to give you an eye. 42 minutes. <laughs> Talked to Ogun for a good while. Those of you who don't know who Ogun is, that's a quality fragrances on Instagram and YouTube. On Friday, we have our... Everyday spring fra top 10 everyday spring fragrances battle video live stream that we're gonna be doing on his channel, which I'll promote leading up to on uh on my community page. But uh but yeah, I talked to him this morning. We talked about the format, went over some things. That's my guy. Love Ogoon. Anybody that doesn't know about Equality Fragrances, just type in Equality Fragrances in the search bar, go check out his content and subscribe if you like what you see. Salt of the earth kind of guy. Ogoon's Ogoon's a real one, you know. But I appreciate the $5 super chat, Jared. Crank up the heat as high as possible. Spray some Paco Rabanne EDT under your nose and clear your sinuses. <laughs> I'm good. Is there a good argument to sink your dollars in bond number nine fragrances? One that's a standout. Uh, it comes down to what you like. I only own two, Bleecker Street and bondnumber9.com. Um, outside of those two, I've never been compelled to buy any. So. No, I haven't tried that. Actually, I don't think I've ever even heard of that. It doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. Love the logo, though. Silver Fox with the avatar. Love love it. Been really getting into Aaron Terrence Hughes. So many really amazing fragrances. Definitely worth checking them out. I agree. He's got some good stuff. I've got several decants of his stuff. Strain is slept on. My first wearing blue socks off a couple of, in the restaurant. I believe it. There you go. A bunch of ATH conversation going on in the chat now. People say Calvin Klein defy EDP. Did you mean to put it's the same as KEDP? And if so, that no, 
No, they smell nothing alike. Defy EDP is citrus and leather. KEDP is neither of those. So I'm just I'm trying to interpret as best I can this jumbling of words. That's hard to say. Um, I don't really have any cheapies I've come across lately that are all the hype. Outside of uh, Kate Alpha Sun from Latafa, I mean, 15 bucks. Pineapple and Woods, it's, it's amazing. I'm looking at it. It's, I'm going to wear it in the next couple of days. It's fantastic. You know, that's that's. it's not really a clone of anything that I know of, but it's a fantastic cheapie. Yes, I have a decant come, and Randy sent me a package. I'll be doing a live stream with Randy Wednesday, and we're going to be opening up those decants he sent me and trying them. And Polar Red Parfum is one of them. Yes, for sure. Chemically, they won't last by design. Yeah, they can't last by design. They can't. They can't. You you lose the brightness to get the longevity, especially with natural citrus like that. They're, they are not going to last for sure. Five dollar super chat from with with no comment, but I appreciate that, Oscar. Thank you so much for the five dollars. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Cuba Black Elixir in the spring TLTG Black Cubano. I'm trying to make sense of this comment, Spencer. I'm guessing you're making a joke about Cuba Black Prestige because I hate that fragrance. Up, Ross. Get to feeling better. Okay, quick question. Which Atkinson did you like the best? Bond Street? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I did that live stream with Chad. Because it was just samples, and I hardly ever wear samples. I have so freaking many samples and decants. It's unreal. Um, I don't even remember. It's been so long. I'm sorry I don't have a better answer. I don't even remember. Remember, my rabbit is better than any dog. Hey, teach their own, man. ADP was your pick. Colonia Club. So very, very minty. Like cooling effect of like picture Florida water. You know what that is? Where you put it on the rag, put it in your forehead, cools you down instantly, has that strong cooling effect on your skin. That's the kind of cooling effect this mint leaf has from Colonia Club. It's serious. Almost like a burning sensation. It cools so heavily and rapidly. It's good shit. Burlington 1819, Whew, man, one of the most complex, Not I don't want to call it a freshie because it's not a freshie, but it's a fresher fragrance. It's on the fresher side, but there's a lot of rum to it. But the citrus that you'll get is more the peel, like with the orange, it's the rind. It's kind of the smell that it gives off with this muskiness and a lot of woods. There's a lot going on here, a lot. You'll see, it is... It is a freaking masterpiece. And it's funny that you bring up Raja. I got Manhattan and Danger Parfum came in today. They're literally right there. Yesterday, two days ago, Amwaj Lineage just came in with the three samples for the other three. I haven't gotten around to opening these. and I'm going to do video first impression videos, so I'm not opening them yet. But I have three heavy hitters right here on the other side of, behind this camera. That was my elbow. Behind this camera. The newest release from Raja Parfums, my favorite Raja Parfums fragrance ever, Danger Parfum. <clears throat> and one of the, so with Twisted Lily, I was able to pick of the four new Amouage fragrances, I was able to pick one and get samples of the others. And I know Justin had good things to say about lineage. I saw the notes and I was like, okay, it's kind of marine and stuff like that. Let me go with that. Maybe that's a safer play. So I went with Lineage. So I have a bottle of Lineage and Purpose and all the other ones I have samples of. So we'll do a video on those within the next week. I like them sinuses. Quality fragrances is awesome. I agree. I heard you talk about it's back on Talk Me in a while. My bad. Left a few words out. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's been a little while since so I've talked about it. I'll be there, bro. 10-4. 499 Super Chat. Seven Cobalt smells nothing like Blue de Chanel. Not a fan of Blue de Chanel. Can't stop wearing Cobalt. It's woodier and spicier. I know you'll dig it. Just trust me. Winking emoji. Okay. Noted. Noted. I typically try to judge things based on my own experiences with them. It's just one of those things that I have to be compelled to get my hands on it. 
So I'm glad you reiterated that it's not because on there it shows that that's what it's closest to. Um, so you're saying it's woody and spicy. That does intrigue me a bit more. Does the incense really pop for you? The frankincense absolute note? Because that's the note that intrigues me the most. Ross, P.S. Not as a question. What kind of brand of razor do you use to shave your head? Uh, no, not often. I get a nick here and there, but I, I got a variety pack of blades. Like Gillette Silver Blue is probably the blade I use the most. Tarathi Blue. That is a great fragrance. I get 10 plus hours from Citrine. It's close to skin, but lasts all day. And look, if you start heating up, that sillage is going to get massive. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just George's skin chemistry. But you want to talk about strong? This stuff is strong on George Zaharoff. That's who it's strong on. <whistles> Ridiculous sillage. Every time I've ever smelled him wearing that, it's just this massive scent cloud. It's crazy. What do you think of you or someone like you? I haven't tried that one. I have a few from Ital Liberange. I, I just haven't tried that one. So <coughs> we're a little over an hour now. Let me try to get caught up and we'll shut it down. Almost done with Savage EDT. I will not get a new one. Smells good, but not worth another 150. Savage should be 100 max. It's priced like a niche fragrance. All designers are priced like niche fragrances now. Everything's gone up in price. Yes, yes, and more yes. Uh, do me a favor. Check out my full review. Type in TLTG Glacial Essence in the search and go watch my review. If you want to get my full thoughts, performance breakdown, and everything, I did a full review on it. I really like that one. I really like that one. Once the summer rolls around, I'm going to start wearing that one a bit more. <sighs> Bond number nine dot com. I like it more than Aventus. It's fresh and fruity and woody. doesn't have the florals and the smokiness. Of Aventus, but it's it's like Aventus, but it's fresh, fruity, and woody. I like it more. Bondnumber9.com, easily. Another five dollar super chat. Appreciate you, Jared. Shout out to you, Ross. Your new fragrance, Evening Mystique. Get it now through Zaharoff. Link in the description. Was my gateway drug for resinous fragrances. It's definitely quite resinous. Between the Olibanum resin the myrrh, and then the orconox, which a lot of people are confused when they see the orconox. It's it's of the ambergris family. It's a certain type of muskiness to it. Um, it's more of a clean musky smell. There's also musk in the fragrance, but that's where, because it transitions greatly. Once you get into the deeper dry down, it's a clean, creamy patchouli, very clean and creamy patchouli and musk combo. Um, a lot of people have told me they get a strong vetiver note off of their skin because <clears throat> there is vetiver in the fragrance. I don't get a hefty dose of the vetiver. I get a lot of the resins, and, of course, I get plenty of incense because it's frankincense and olibanum resin, which are both incense. So it's very smoky on my skin, which, of course, I adore because I love incense on for, in fragrances. So yeah, if you're looking for a great resinous experience, a unique experience that's very wearable, Evening Mystique, Jared's got it right. I appreciate you, Jared. Evening Mystique's really good juice. Thank you, Kyler. I appreciate that, man. You haven't tried Bar Bar King Ross. Try it. Trust me. Write this frag down if you need maybe a decant. Gladly. Let's see. You can get Layton for a great price. Here's an interesting one. Stefan B. Hey Ross, greetings from Germany. Greetings, sir. I love Ferragamo's Womo Signature. Do you have any idea for something similar but a little bit more on the fresh side? It's funny that you say that because Halloween Man X would be the fresher take of that, but Womo Signature is just so much better. Um, outside of those two, I'm really not sure, to be honest with you. I'm sorry I don't have a better answer for you because um, I can't think of Womo Signature but fresher. Nothing comes to mind. Not that I've tried, anyways. I'm trying to think if there's anything. <sighs> Drawing a blank, man. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you. Sorry, man. Thank you for the super chat, though. Seriously. Maybe not consider niche, but Chopar Black Incense Malachi is well worth checking out. Noted. Do you think new Armoff Iconic and I'm told are worth 50 bucks each. Eh, yes and no. Untold's good. It's it's I gave it a 7.5. It's very good. 
Iconic's even better. Iconic's really good. I still haven't uh, done the review on that one yet. That's the one I haven't done the review on. <clears throat> but it's good. They're good. I think they should be a little bit cheaper, but uh, something people are going to have to get used to is stuff's not going to get as cheap as they used to get. As these newer releases come out, they're not going to get quite as cheap because cost of goods across the globe have gone up. So keep that in mind. What used to be 35 bucks is probably going to be in the realm of 50 bucks now. I don't see them dropping much lower than that. Low 40s. Outside of that, I don't see them dropping much lower. I appreciate that, Griffin. Thank you, man. Not really, because that is more about Violet Leaf, Musk, and Coffee. That doesn't have the leather and the sweetness that Womo Signature has. So, no. They're in the same line, but they're not. The coffee note's the only thing that ties them together. Because, like I said, Casual Life, it's there's a little bit of Ambroxan, but it's very metallic from the Violet Leaf. It's dominated by Violet Leaf. It's very musky. Whereas you get a lot of leather and sweetness out of Womo's signature. So, is a Ventus clone worth it? That's up to you to decide. If it was really all that worth it, I'd have a bottle. It smells great, but I just can't justify it for the money. You know, it's it's good though. In some ways, I would argue that it's better than regular Ventus. You know. But on that note, we've done an hour and six minutes, typically a little bit longer than we normally do, usually about an hour. But I appreciate all of you that came show up. Uh, if you're interested in checking out any of the four fragrances I use as examples for underrated niche fragrances, there's links down below. Definitely go check them out. Thank you to everybody for the well wishes on getting better. I hope I feel better tomorrow as well. I know I sound like shit. I sound very congested. I can smell a little bit. It's just I'm so stopped up. It's hard for the aromas to get through there. I can smell. It's not as easily as I'd like to, but uh, make sure you check out today's review on the North Stag fragrance that I did earlier this morning, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.